my channel and today I'm gonna do a different type of video so this makeup look is my go-to makeup this is like the makeup look I do if there's an event and party and I want to play it nice and safe without you know doing either going to dark or going to colorful this is just basically the makeup look I end up doing um, some of you guys might be like it's doesn't look like anything it looks regular but yeah this is just basically the type of makeup I do um, so my wing might not be perfect but that's because I cannot find my real real liquid eyeliner that I use so I had to use another one that now I can't even find it for the life of me to like you know fix it and do the details but yeah this is just how the eyes look how my face looks um everything will be listed down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye oh and i already put up my first episode of mommy monday so you guys could click here and it'll take you over there or you guys could click down below it'll be linked down there so you guys could go there and if you're new to my channel welcome i'm maria i've been gone i i'm known to take vacations for no reason but yeah um why don't you stay a while watch this video so excuse my bare face sorry so the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids and this is what i'm going to use this is from nyx this is the eyeshadow base and a brush i'm using i don't know because it's completely wiped off but it's like one of these little brushes and i'm going to put this all over my eyelid and even in my inner crease like so So then I'm gonna grab my ring finger and just pat it all down. So before I put eyeshadow, I'm gonna use my Airspawn Loose Powder and I'm just gonna grab whatever powder is in there. And this is a Luxie brush. This is the 512 Small Contouring Brush. I'm gonna just swirl it in here, get whatever's in there, tap off any excess. And I'm gonna pat this down one more time just to make sure everything is blended out. And I'm going to set it with that powder just so it makes blending a lot easier for me. So the palette I've been using is the Lorac Pro Mega 3, the Los Angeles one. So with the blending one, this is E40 by Sigma. You guys know I swear by this brush. So until I find something else better, this is the only brush I use to blend everything. So the first colors I'm going to grab is Maple and Walnut. Now I use these colors as transition colors. I'm going to put this right in my crease and work it inwards and outwards. So once I laid that down, I'm going to go in with just Maple and that is the brown one. And I'm going to place it right on top of that. And again, just blending it all out. So I should have this, a very nice, subtle transition color going on. Then I'm going to grab my 217 by MAC. Then we're going to grab the color Eggplant and Bark. We're going to focus this right on our outer V, like so. So it should look like that. Now if you have any extra, just wipe it on the back of your hand so you won't blend all that in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to first start working this in towards the crease. Work it all the way up in the crease. And then once you got that, you're going to start blending this out nicely so it won't look so harsh. Just on the outer V. So once we blended that outwards, we're going to go and start blending it inwards. I know I have like different techniques for this, um, but this is just how I do it. So it should look like that. So whatever is left over this brush, I just like brush it all over my eyelid. I know you guys are like, well, what's the point of that? It's just basically what I do. Now I go with my E40. I make sure there's nothing on there and I'm going to blend it all together. Now, if some of that purpley color goes up I go back in with maple and that's just the brown the warm brown one and I go in there and blend it out so whatever is on this brush then I go and just blend it on my eyelid again this is just something I do so now I'm gonna grab this brush from Bazillion Tools this is a 772 this is just an eyeshadow brush I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to grab violet gray and tan and just 
more violet gray than tan. Tan is just like a little bit, but we're gonna grab those two colors. We're gonna place that right on our eyelid. I'm gonna grab this little pot here, and this is from ColourPop. This is from the Karuchi Tran collab they did and this one is sunset boulevard and i really like this color because it's like a nice shimmery the payoff on it is not so overpowering that it's like too much so you just basically grab some and just dab it on your eyelid and it gives you like a nice color it is buildable so i be here for a while doing this but i like how it's not so shimmery it's not very like bam in your face it's more of a settle down shimmery so once I have that, it looks like this. Again, you might be like, oh, it's not that noticeable, but trust me, it like puts the whole look together. So then I grab my eyeliner. I can't find the one I normally use, but it's also from Wet n Wild. It's, just, it's waterproof, it's the H2O, but we're just gonna use this one for now. And this one's the Mega Liner. This one's not waterproof, so I don't recommend it if we are going out. And we're just gonna do our wing now. These are the eyelashes I'm going to be using. They're from the Lily Galici and this is the name right here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because the girl can't. So this is how the eyelash looks. Prep our eyelashes first just because mine goes straight down and look ugly. So the glue I'm going to be using today is um, I think House of Lashes. Yeah, House of Lashes. I have not figured out how this glue works. So I'm really just like winging it with this glue. I tried looking up tutorials, but I guess I'm not finding the right one. It's more just like oh, a review on how to lash this glue. So if any of you guys know how to use this, to tell me in the comments below because I'm just adding on glue and I legit wait like if it's the dual glue count to like 25 seconds and hope it sticks I mean these are sticking pretty good just let me know how to use this glue because I really don't know there's like lint on these lashes oh my god I actually think I placed these way better than the other ones I think so yeah that is, we're gonna have some good work. So for foundations, I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. And I use two, I use 44 Golden Medium. Well, 44 Golden Medium and 52 Honey Light. So I'm gonna just shake those up. So I'm gonna grab the 44 and I'm gonna put that like, you know, all over like that. Then I'm gonna grab the 52 and just like, Dot it a little bit just because that one is more tanner. Go check my different mirror to make sure it's not that white and it's not. It's just here. I don't know why. So my camera shut off, but just put concealer where you would highlight. And I put a lot under my eyes just because I do like them to look brighter. I don't color correct anymore because I really don't see the point in it anymore so i don't do it i just like pray to god that my concealer does a good enough job because that's what concealers are supposed to be so i pray it does a good enough job to cancel out all the darkness down there so once i blend all that out i try to stay looking up and i go in with my air spawn powder and just hit that down there like that now my eyes are dry so i don't put a lot of this stuff but I put enough to make sure it sets the concealer. So I go in with my Luxie 5 to 2 Taper Highlighting Brush and I just start whisking away what I set. Just because again, it's already dry for me down there so I don't feel like I need to extreme bake. Lesson learned, right? For parties, I normally use a brush like this, a blush brush, I guess you could say. This one is from... I think crown brushes and it looks like this so then I grab I don't know the colors of these that we linked down below or up here I grab this one right here this brown and maybe some of this 
and I start putting it here and you know putting it down then I go underneath here and bring it all the way down <laughs> bring it all the way down so then I grab this color up here only and I first lay it I first lay it here and then just bring it to my big forehead so then up here right here I usually go down here and grab the softer one and place that right up there so then I grab this brush here this is a Morphe this is a E52 and we're just gonna blend everything once I have that I grab the blush Melba um, I swear by this so I put this right on the apples of my cheeks it's highlighting time and I use the Anastasia glow kit this one the tan one and I use golden dipping in gold and bubbly those are my main go-to highlighting colors and you know just highlight your face wherever you want so I'm gonna bring it up here like so and I bring it under my brow bone because that's just who I am this year no I mean like this is really what I do Whatever is left on the brush, I put it on the tip of my lips. Then I grab my Luxie um, Small Taper Blending. This is a 230, 231. And I grab the color Sunburst, and that is the lightest one in there. And then that's what I use for my highlight of my eye. Um, so when the camera was off, I hit my underwater line over here with the color maple so it's just like a brown color right under there and then I put mascara you know all that good stuff so I did that so then whatever is left here I bring it right down my nose for my lips in the beginning I used Carmax Carmex I'm messing around with this thing Carmex not Carmax so this is what I use for my lips so my go-to lip liner is this one this is from MAC this is stripped down and I just line my lips. And I hope I line my lips right. If not, whatever. So the two lipsticks I have been using before I was using the Anastasia liquid lipstick. This one is Aston, Austin, whatever you want to call it. And I do really like this one. It's just like that. Very. I feel like it suits me very well. So there's that one I use. And then there's this one from the. Well, this one's closed from the Kylie Jenner one, and they're kind of the same, just you know, this one is more lighter than this one. So, and it's more moisturizing, surprisingly. So, I kind of don't know which one to go to with right now. Then we're gonna do Austin. 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 Austin! Mm -hmm. So, you're just gonna on your lips so and this is the final look and this is how i end up looking at parties because i usually just curl my hair i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye